I am Michael Abson. I'm John Ramos. Since our show is all about what's happening in our world, today we are going to tackle about globalization and its impact to our world. Here's an introduction of what's globalization first that will be explained to us by Chini Grace Almasaba. Globalization is the one that helps our economy grow. It has parts that makes great contribution to the development of our world and one's health, such as media. Globalization plays a big role as well. It is the one that makes us what we are today. Thank you, Miss Chini Grace. Therefore, it really has a big impact in our world today. To understand more about media, we will also talk about how media involved and stage of media development. Let's hear uh, Ms. Richin Lambigit and Mr. Leonard Simini. Good day everyone, I am Gretchen and I'm here just to shortly talk about the role of media in globalization. The mass media are today seen as playing a key role in enhancing globalization and facilitating cultural exchange and multiple flaws of information and images between countries through international news broadcast, television programming, new technologies, film, and music. The media have an important impact on cultural globalization into two mutually interdependent ways. Firstly, the media provide an extensive transnational transmission of cultural products and secondly, they contribute to the formation of communicative networks and social structures. It started with oral communication. Oral communication, which spread away from market trade and cross-continental trade, roots and became the most important tool for exploring the world and different cultures. Because distance became a problem with oral communication. The script. The script came next and it allowed not only communication in a larger space and a longer duration, but also permanence in the codification of knowledge, beliefs, and behaviors. The printing press. The printing press then allowed continuous and mass production, reproduction, and circulation of information, where access to information was available only to the rich, powerful, and religious. It became available to everyone. Then came ele electricity-based communications such as the, the telegraph, uh, telephone, radio, film, and television, and the electronic media. The electronic media has opened up new perspectives in the different processes of globalization. And the last was the di digital media. Digital media, much of the printing press and electronic media industries have now migrated to digital media communications and platforms with the internet and computer networks are relied on in the transmission of digital media. Thank you, Mr. of traditional media to new media. From the tumble waves of the prehistoric age up to the metallic and highly buzzing new age, these segments will focus and then on the background of media and information policy, how it came about and how it has altered and evolved through generation. Prehistoric age is marked by its dating back to the several million of years when history was not the stuff of recording. During this age, media was at its most primitive of course. Early women in this age used tones and rolls to convey their messages. People earnestly carved to input their messages and use even these stones or leaves to make it as their own. An example of the type of media uses during this age are clay tablets of the Mesopotamia and the papyrus of Egypt. Industrial age, on the other hand, is the age marked by retro and low-tech forms of media and information spread. In engines were the fact 
the technology in this age were marked by how physical materials made physical objects move. The famous media device was frequently used here was the typewriter. Some examples of media during in this industrial age consist printing press for mass production, newspaper, typewriter, telephone, and motion picture photography or projection. Electronic age. The electronics age was set into motion by Benjamin R. Franklin. He was the one who discovered electricity by tying a key to a kite and letting that kite be used on the lightning storm. Videos were quiet as seen here. Even television, although they were just black and white, then the first cameras were born in the age two, even the earlier models of cellular phones that were as big as your room. Some example during electronic age consist transistor, radio, television, large electronic computers, which is used as a football field. New information age is the age where phones comes in all shapes and sizes. In this age, software has become instantly popular to convey messages. Social media websites run the show. An example type of media on the new information age are blogs. It includes Blogspot, Live Journal, and WordPress. It also includes microblogs such as Twitter and Tumblr. Another are the social networks such as Friendster, Multiplay, and Facebook. Search engines such as Yahoo and Google were really used. Thank you, Ms. Cicel. Now, Ms. Junami de la Pina will give us information about Twitter as a career of a culture. Today, I discuss to you media as career of culture. The media have important impact on cultural globalization because media provide an extensive transnational transmission of cultural products and they contribute to the formation of communication networks and social structures. Media has greatly influenced the globalization of cultures. It is one force and medium that spreads cultural flow across nations and people resulting in the thick and deep integration of cultures. There's also an intimate relationship between globalization and media. There can be no globalization without media because it fosters the conditions for global cap capitalism that means we use media on how to improve trade. Media drive glo global integration by promoting capitalist globalization, like on how we gain or how we reach our quotas of profit in business trade, bringing countries to closer Western ways of life, promoting cultural exchanges through mediated cultural experiences, for example, imitating the Filipino culture in other countries building connections between the first and third worlds and manufacturing consent and content in favor of globalization. Thank you. This is Chonami de la Peña reporting. Thank you, Ms. Jana. There were also outcomes and influence of globalization and culture, which is cultural divergence and cultural hybridity. Ms. Analisa Acha and Ms. Cheryl Asponia will give us an idea about this. Good day everyone, I'm Annalisa Acham and I will be discussing about what is cultural divergence and its positive and negative impacts on globalization. Cultural divergence is a condition in which one culture splits into separate cultures. In globalization provides both positive and negative influences on cultural diversity which can have far-reaching impacts. Negative influences Due to the unprecedented access to cultures, a much wider audience than ever before has a gateway to see. Here, an experience phenomena that were never accessible previously is myth 2000. Misrepresentation, stereotyping, and the rest of loose of cultural and intellectual property rights 
are the consequences of unmonitored access. There are a number of negative impacts globalization has had on cultural diversity, including the influence multinational corporations have on promoting a consumer culture, exploitation of workers and markets, and influencing social values. This increased availability of commercial media and products can drawn out local cultural influences. Cultural hybrid constitutes the effort to maintain a sense of balance among practices, values, and customs of two or more different cultures. and in racial theory in 19th century. Its contemporary views are scattered across numerous academic disciplines and silence in the popular culture. Uh, thank you, Miss Annalisa and Miss Jurel. Now let's have also Miss Alma Angel Pampangan for her explanation of what is Explainer and Cyberball Transition. Good morning everyone, my topic is all about Splinternet and Cyber Balkan Association. Splinternet phenomenon involves the existence of various local internet networks divided by the geographical frontiers of different countries and related by national laws, which results in the fragmentation of the World Wide Web as it exists today. Instead of becoming a series of internets which are administered as a parallel universe, each one autonomous, separate, and private. Examples of splinternet phenomenon are the control by the authorities in China on the blocking of the certain US media outlets to users located in the Europe as a result of new data protection law or General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR approved by the Euro European Union. So, balkanization is the segregation of the internet into smaller groups with similar internet to a degree that they show a narrow minded approach outsiders or those with a contradictory view. Splinternet also referred to as a cyber balkanization or internet balkanization is a characterization of the internet as splintering also described a similar online phenomenon as a group of bloggers living in echo chambers of their own design or information of Tepons, the typical example of cyber balkanization occurs in the online political debate among English speaking Americans during presidential election. Thank you, Miss Alma Angel. And now let's hear Miss Princess Penas to discuss us of what is Snapchat dysmorphia. Good day! Snapchat dysmorphia is a condition in which part of the body is a different shape from normal. The disorder is characterized by distinctive facial dysmorphia and cardiac defects. Tens and young adults with BDD symptoms often experience co occurring depression and anxiety, pussy feelings of shame, self esteem issues self looting grief, and fear of being unlovable or acceptable. Uh, thank you, Miss Princess. Uh, now, from all, we have a third from them. We come up to the questions of this social media, we have told all of all. This uh, Aladi Director will give us an explanation. Social media, a tool or a tool? Social media has changed the way we communicate. When it comes to our union, social media is a powerful tool to communicate to the outside world about struggles faced by members and people in our community. It's also a free and open forum to debate, exchange ideas, and share opinions. There were also three groups why it's considered as a powerful tool. 
Number 1. Build relationships with customers. What's the best way to know what an audience really wants? Interaction. Social media allows you as a customer to start a conversation and talk directly to your customers. Unlike the one-way conversation of traditional marketing, you can go beyond that and build a direct connection with your customers. Number 2. Boost inbound traffic. Social media marketing opens the door of a business to the world. When you share content via social media, you're giving your customers more opportunities to visit your website, click through pages, and read your own content. Number 3. Stay ahead of the competition. Social media is no longer an option. It's a requirement. To keep up with your customers, expectations, and stay ahead of your competition, it's a crucial to build a strong social media presence. Thank you, Ms. Alani. Now, to give us the summary for our topic this morning, so here is Ms. Russell Babutan, who understands briefly and give us the definition. As we learned in the discussion earlier, Globalization is a process of interaction and integration among the people, companies, and governments of different nations, a process driven by international trade and investment and aided by information technology. And media globalization is the worldwide integration of media through the cross-cultural exchange of ideas, which is the key role in enhancing globalization and facilitating cultural exchange and multiple flows of information and images between countries through international news, broadcast television, programming, new technologies, film, and music. Media evolution started with the oral communication. Next is the script, where it permanent of the codification of knowledge, beliefs, and behaviors. Next is the printing press, then came electricity-based communication, such as telegraph, telephone, radio, film, and television. And last is the digital media, the wide reach of electronic media has opened up new perspectives in the different process of globalization. We also talk about cultural hybridity, which is the mixing and merging of cultural, resulting in the creation of new cultural forms in language, food, fashion, arts, music, among others. Second, we talk about cultural differentialism, which is defines culture as a clearly bound entity with a specific geological Location. Third, we talk about cultural convergence, explains why similarities between among culture are increasing the aspect of democratic ideas, language, new technologies, arts, and global sports competitions. And all these concepts or ideas turn the wheel of global and local production resulting in globalization. And we also talk about Splinternet, which is a characterization of the internet as splintering and dividing due to various factors such as technology, commerce, politics, nationalism, and religion. This topic shows that different media have diverse effects on globalization. At one point, it seemed that global television was creating a global monoculture. Now it seems more likely that social media will splinter culture and ideas to bubbles of people. This topic also tells us that media has greatly great influenced the globalization of cultures and media is a career of culture. For it, it is one force and medium that spreads cultural forms across nations and peoples resulting is in which and deep integration of cultures. Again, this is Russell Batukan for World Today Show. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ms. Russell. Now, guys, we don't have more time for this morning. Hope you learned a lot in our topic today. Again, this is Michael Hapson and John Ramos in, in World, World Today, Today Show. Show. Till, Till next time, time guys. Bye-bye.